Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 84 of season 2 of WWE Supercard. Now, um, this is going to be part 1 of episode 84. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for part 2. Um, that means this episode will probably be quite long. So, it's going to be all about the team event not king of the ring just yet king of the ring will be part two although i will be talking about king of the ring quite a bit so um team event this is the main concern about part one may i just say as well um we got 3735 points that is incredible um obviously team team events have been over for about a day and yeah there's 18 minutes left until the team event is completely wiped out until hopefully next monday please do it cat daddy so anyway this team event what happened well like i said 3735 points absolutely incredible i mean we beat our last record which i think was 2600 odd so we've beat it by over a thousand points and to be honest if we get anything like that ever again i'll be amazed i'm so proud literally of everybody in the team apart from a couple of people which i am going to talk about now so if we go to the team points breakdown by the way we came rank once it goes across 1693 i'm gonna be talking about that too quite a bit so it down we have matt jesus christ i don't know if he's title matches or not i'm guessing he i don't know i'm not gonna say he did and i'm not going to say that he didn't um so yeah um but matt has been promoted to general by d's nuts i think it was and yeah well deserved i was go going to do it in this video but yeah he's already general that is just amazing and then we have Tom, who did awesome as well. Just incredible, um, incredible amounts of points. Uh, then we have Jamie on 651, which is amazing. Well done, Jamie. And then we have me on 550. Like, seriously, I don't know how Jamie, Tom and Matt got so more points. Like, I'll be honest. Like... I physically spent after those 550 points. I thought to myself, right, 550. After that, I'm done. Hi, I'm done. So I'm guessing Jamie, Tom and Matt, after the event, must have been spent, like physically spent. It was just incredible. Um, so, yeah. And then we have David, Tom, who did well. Undertaker did decent. Dee's Nuts did decent. And then Joshua, uh, 90 points. Not many. But he did grind uh, about an hour before the event closed, which was decent. He did say that he didn't have internet, so that must have been why. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, um, then at the bottom, we have Hamada on 15 points. Hamada, Hamada, Hamada. Um, in the team chat... I did say that I would be saying whether he gets kicked or not in the next video. A uh, couple of people have told me that they do want him kicked, and this is what I'm going to say. So, Hamada, um, basically, I'm going to say this is not the first time you haven't grinded, so I've gave you a chance. I've, I've already gave you one chance, and, you know... This is the second chance now, and people in the team will know. People who watch my, who watch my videos will know that usually I don't even give people second chances. If they don't grind the first time, boom, that was wrong. Yeah, boom, <laughs> they are gone. They are gone. Um, a couple of loyal people in the team. Uh, I'm just thinking now. D's nuts. Uh, D's Nuts, Jamie, Tom and Matt, I think Matt was there. Um, you guys will probably know that CM Punk is love, didn't play and he got kicked straight away, no questions asked. And also recently the same thing happened with Lunatic Fringe. 
So, I don't know. Oh, dude. Thing is, this is what I'm gonna do, right? If, sorry about that, get these crisps out of the way. Um, if, right, you have been loyal to the team, right? I think you was one of the first people who joined the crew. And yeah, I am going to give you a third chance. A third chance, Hamada. I've never gave anybody a third chance, and I probably never will again, sir. You better make it count, because if you don't grind, to be honest, not even if you don't grind to a certain amount, if you don't keep up the top three, which is Jamie, Tom and Matt, you will be in real danger of being kicked, because it's not fair that you don't grind, and we do. We do. I mean, it is not fair. Same with you, Josh. Thin ice, bro. But anybody in the team, even if they don't grind, then we'll be in serious danger of being kicked. Um, and the thing is, um, I'm going to talk about the team in general now, the team events. Um, so, yeah, Hamada, final chance, bro. Same with Joshua. And, yeah, that is what is going down. Um, now I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here. A bit of a team event rant. Now, I will pull up my Twitter feed, but uh, actually, I think I can. Right, guys, I'll be right back with my Twitter feed open. Alright, guys, we are back, and yeah, this is my Twitter account. If you have not already fo followed, I would consider following because, yeah, this is where I post most of my thoughts and feelings about Supercard. So, as you can see, um, I did tweet out, I think this was actually on the 19th of January, and it is currently the 21st. So, this was two days ago, and I posted, you need to make it easier to get the cards. My team is in legendary tier, and we grind all day, and for what an epic card. When in reality... We didn't even get that. We got an ultra rare and a super rare. Now, um, to be honest, guys, this is where the rant starts because, um, whoops, that's a group chat. I'm in. Just gonna close that off. But yeah, um, basically, I don't know, guys. Okay, guys, and we're back again. So, um, basically, my thoughts are about Team PCC specifically. Team Road to Glory is fine. Um, it's mainly Team PCC. Basically, um, last team event, we got about a 1,000 points less, and we got the Epic card. Yes, Epic, right? Now we get a 1,000 points more... And we do worse. Now, I don't know. That seems a bit rigged to me. Um, basically, what needs to happen is... The the rankings for the rewards need to be decreased. Because more teams are starting to play the game. Which means it is only going to get harder to get the rewards that your team deserves. Um, so, yeah. That is my thoughts. So, if we go back to Season 1, the to get the event card, you needed to come top 200, which now seems absolutely crazy. And, obviously, in Season 2, they made it the top 2,000. I have no doubt that in Season 3, they'll, with the amount of more people playing the game, literally every single day, they will probably make it the top 4,000, even. So, yeah... Um, to get the epic card currently, you need to come um, at the lowest rank of 1,250. Um, they probably need to make it about 1,750 because it's ridiculous. Um, at the rate we play, um, and I'm not, guys, I am not telling you to work any harder. At the level we are working now, 
it's crazy. We we are working at a level which I am very happy about. So that is completely fine. You you know it it's just a game. It is t team PCC rewards rankings that need to go down fast. So maybe to get the uh, survivor card, maybe you need to come in the top hundred instead of the top fifty. I don't know. But yeah, they do need to be decreased by some degree. That is all I am going to say on that, guys. Hello, guys. I'm finally... We are back into the world of WWE Super Card. So, King of the Ring, quarterfinals. What the hell is going on? Wait, this is me in a legendary King of the Ring quarterfinals, which means I've qualified... Not only did I qualify, but if you but if you take a look at the uh, record I got, 33 and 14, that's not too bad at all. Um, basically, in the King of the Ring, I came second, which is... I don't think I've ever came second in a legendary King of the Ring, ever. So that is amazing. Um, yeah, um, game two finished. Now, we will be going into a final game, because in game one... The game decided to be rigged. Basically, um, his deck is basically he has a crap diva tag. He has, I mean, my diva tag's crap, but his is worse. He has one crap tag tag team, which both of my tag teams would beat. By the way, he has an epic pro. His uh, solos is epic pro Dean, which I could beat. Epic Pro Reigns, which I could beat, and Legendary Sheamus, which, if the game is fair, I could beat. And he also has a Legendary Page, which, pff, I'm done. I don't stand a chance against that, so I'm hoping in the third game that is not called. But if we take a look, um, the game decided to be very rigged. Um, in game one... It decided to call my worst si single, which is obviously Epic Wyatt, which basically loses to every single solo card. So yeah, that is a win for him. Match 2, fair enough. That is fair enough there. He has a better si single diva. And yeah, fair enough, bro. Um, game 3, this is where the rigness starts to come into play. Um... Sorry about that, just burped. Um, so, <laughs> um, his best tag, which is a legendary event Ryback and a legendary tri Triple H, love the picture, versus um, my crap tag. I think that a legendary Triple H picture is an epic from season one because I remember getting that from a King of the Ring. Um, so, yeah. My worst tag versus his best tag, a bit rigged. Moving on to match four. Um, obviously, my divas beat hers or his or bots. Yeah, the bots, let's just say that. And match five, very deservedly, I did win. So, yeah, he won match three. He basically won ma match one, two and three. How rigged is that? And, yeah, moving on to game number two. See, this is where it basically so, so solidifies that I am the better player because if you're winning four to one in the qualifying match in the quarterfinals, then yeah, you're probably a bit better. So yeah, match one. Um, usually the game is rigged when it's three two, but when it's four to one, guys, you already know. So, anyway, game one, um, pro page again, GG there. Um, match two, I obviously win. Match three, we proc a bit lucky. Although, he didn't even energise, which is interesting. Because basically now, if, if he doesn't energise for the final game, and my epic... Well, if he doesn't energise, there's a... There's about a 5% chance that he could win. And if that happens, I'm done. I'm done, guys. So, yeah, match four. 
win, beats that epic, epic pro Dean. And then match five, look, my best tag versus his best tag, obviously mine wins. So yeah, that is how that is going. And game three has started. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for part one of this video. Um, I have a couple of shout outs to do. I have just remembered, guys, do not worry. Yeah, there is a couple of shout-outs I do need to do. I'm just going to pull up my phone for a second. And, yeah, I'm going to say a couple of these. Um, these guys have been wanting shout-outs for quite a while. But it's, it is just a case, case of, guys, I have forgot. I literally forget pretty much everything if I... If my head was not connected to my shoulders, I would probably for forget that. So, yeah, <laughs> it is really ridiculous, guys. So, yeah, moving on to a couple of shout-outs. The first shout-out, guys, goes to Chris Master. Um, he has been wanting to give me a shout Well, yeah, he has been wanting for me to give him a shout-out for quite a while. He he does supercard too. He he is an awesome dude. So yeah, give him a sub. Check Chris Master out. Um, I'm just trying to find the second one. On to the second one, guys. And yeah, that's not the video. That's not the video either. Uh, this is the one, guys. I think. Wait, no, it's not. Episode 8, is it that? I'm not even sure, guys. But yeah, I did rem remember the, who, the, who the person was called. The person was called Mods V2. Give him a sub. He, is, By the way, he is also a really awesome sub card YouTuber also. Um... And, yeah, he has about 200-odd subs, so he is not doing bad at all. Um, so that is awesome. And, yeah, a couple of King of the Rings shout-outs to do. Um, I'm just trying to think who was in it. There was two humans in this King of the Ring. One was called, uh, let me just go to the contenders bracket. I know one of them qualified. Oh, no, they both qualified, yeah. Um, one is called Fabio. And one is called Chris Benoit. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be uh, Chris Benoit. But yeah, that's just how it sounds. Chris Benoit. So yeah, um, that is how it is going. Um, and it's pretty ironic how the two only humans in this King of the Ring do compete in the, in the quarterfinals. Which does suck. Because I do kind of want them both to get quite far. And yeah, very unfortunate how they both end up going up against each other in the quarterfinal stages. That means one of them is going to get quarter bumps, and it seemed that that was Fabio, which is unlucky for you, dude. But, but yeah, hopefully, um, if I do beat the Viper, who is a bot, obviously, um, you can just tell by the name and by the uh, Randy Orton picture. But yeah. Chris Penwai is an awesome dude, and yeah, I hope to, I hope that we have an interest, interesting match in these semi-finals. It is going to be very close, but yeah, um, hopefully I can get past this bot, and I am doing as the score is one nil, and um, yeah, what is going to happen now? is I do have a little trick to show you guys on how to help you with your King of the Rings. But that is going to be in part two. So yeah, do not miss out on that. And I will see you when the King of the Ring has finished. Bye, guys. Alright, guys. I'm about with part two of this video. Now, the, se the semi-finals have just taken place. And um, I have won both games. But I'm very sorry to say, guys, um, the finals, I cannot win, although I probably could. Um, right now, the current time is quarter to 11, and yeah, I'm pretty damn tired, so I will probably be off to bed soon.
if we take a look at the chat, um, the person in first who is Mask, he uh, commented, Divas are these strongest cards. And yeah, even Ma Mask said, um, Mask said, if we go down, he said, yeah, you have the best deck. So yeah, I probably could beat him in the finals if we take a look at the contenders bracket. Ma Mask beat a bot called Peter. I don't, I, don't, I don't get why the game made a bot called Peter. But yeah, the, the game is a bit creeper. So yeah, um, GG guys, Chris Benoit, you are an awesome dude. So is Mask. And yeah, I hope all of you, I hope you, you two get the rewards that you wanted. So, so yeah, my uh, King of the Ring will be claimed in the next video, which will, will actually probably be tomorrow either after college or tomorrow morning so yeah do not miss out on that and yeah i will see you guys with a random le legendary card